Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show where something might seem like there's an issue, but actually it is Power Apps trying to be intelligent and helpful and basically only bring back the information from a data source that you use within an app. So to show this in action, um, I've got an uh, integration here where I've, I've connected to Salesforce. And on the left, you can see that we've got the accounts table and we've got the contacts table. Purely to facilitate a kind of account lookup and then based on the selection or ultimately the contact of an account selection, we want it to pre-populate fields with information that we know to be in Salesforce. So for example, we can see here we've got phone. We've actually got two. We've got phone, which is business phone, and there's a home phone just to confuse matters, but that's um, possibly just Salesforce specific. And then you've got mobile. We also know we've got an email address. So this is where it could become a bit frustrating initially because you know the information exists, but Power Apps may give you the impression that uh, it's failed somewhere along the way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose the correct account and I am then going to choose rows. And here we can see that it has successfully brought through the information. If we take a look a bit more closely, we can see here we've tapped into the business phone attribute and also the email. So if we take, for example, where we saw we had two telephone numbers specified, one phone and one mobile. If we were to come into the Power App and I was to go, oh, okay, I, I also want to show um, the mobile number. So if I just plonk that there. And I'm just going to call it mobile. And then I'm just going to switch this up to the mobile. So here we can see it's detected that there is a mobile phone attribute. And I'll at this point, you would be forgiven for scratching your head going, well, surely that's the right one. There's a mobile there. But what's actually happening is because we have made our selection, it has retrieved the ad attributes used throughout the app at which point of me adding in this control, we were not making use of the mobile phone. So just to show this in action again, because the app now does have a requirement for the mobile phone attribute, if we were to reselect the user, you'll now see that it has brought through the mobile phone. And I think ultimately what this comes down to is an efficiency setting of and it never always used to be this way. And I could be talking nonsense, but there should be somewhere. I've possibly gone past it. Possibly this one here I'll optimizes load times and reduces memory consumption by only fetching columns used in your app. But it does also go on to say target data source must support this feature. Again, I, I, I'm not looked into it as far as going, is that categorically the option? Because in theory, you could turn it off, but um, I wouldn't recommend that. For me, it's, it, it is like a valuable thing. It makes sense. Only you know, you should always work with the principle of only bring back what you need. So that that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you that if you do find yourself in a situation where you know information to exist within a data source, you start building your app, you've already kind of collected an entry from your data source at a point in time. So that it's kind of got it. And you've then expanded upon your app. And you're thinking, why are these attributes still blank when I know they've got information? is because you're going to have to make another call to your data source probably after when the app when it, at the point when it knows all of what it needs basically